is a video talking about the math basics of Star Logo Nova, specifically looking at the X and Y coordinates, as well as heading and turning degrees. I have a simple program here that uh, allows us to just look at the setup code. You notice here the blocks, uh, when the setup is pushed, it's going to clear and delete everything back to a green space land, and then it's going to create one turtle, and I made it a little bit bigger so that we can see. And notice that I'm not indicating anything inside there about the um, X and Y coordinates. And so without the X and Y indicated, it will create a turtle in the exact center, and that is actually the coordinates of 0, 0. And if I want my turtles to be anywhere else besides the center, then I have a couple options. And one of them is to use these trait blocks, set my X and set my Y, and I can put them inside the create do. So I'll show you that they're gotten from the traits drawer. It's a set my, and you can see that there are different traits to choose from. In this case, we're looking at the X and the Y. So given that Spaceland is 101, patches across and 101 patches tall, that means that the X can go up to positive 50 and the Y can go up to positive 50. And I can add those in and we're going to take a look and see where does my turtle end up. And you can see that it ends up in the upper right hand corner uh, based on these X and Y coordinates. Now what happens if I add a negative in front of those? and they're in the lower left-hand corner based on the X and Y coordinates there. So one thing you can have students do is play around with the X and Y and get to know a little bit more about the quadrant structure and how big these um, patches are across, etc. One of the things I created here is a, um, is a simple program that allows uh, you to enter in numbers for the X and the Y coordinate. And so I can put a zero and a zero here and I can place the agent and you notice that it's right there on the center. And I did uh, draw the quadrant lines on the space land so we can see it better. What if I make these both positive? Uh, where are they gonna end up? So this is a nice review or reinforcement of the coordinate plane for students that are in math, then also how does it apply to their projects in Star Logo Nova. Okay, now we're going to take a look at uh, the heading, which is also a trait. We can see in the world um, we have the X and the Y and the size, those are all traits, but we can see that there's also a heading uh, and we want to explore what that means. And so we're going to do that in uh, by pulling out this block, set my. So we've created uh, a turtle that has a certain size and a certain uh, coordinate position and then we want to look at the heading. Now heading is based on a protractor and this is um, essentially to the right, going into the right direction is zero degrees. When it goes, faces upwards towards the top of the um, screen, that is 90 degrees, 180, 270, and back to the zero or 360. This also works in negative numbers as well. You can take a look at this. There is a resource for you to take a look at. And this is the protractor that I'm referring to with the 0, 90, 180, 270 all the way around. And also the negative numbers work as well. So let's take a look here and add some information on our heading. So let's uh, look at 90 degrees. And I'm going to put this back at the origin so that we have... Um, And we're going to add some movement in here. So 
save it, run it, and we have our turtle set up in the center and it's going to move forward based on its heading. And so it moves forward in the um, towards the top of the screen and that's because we know that the heading is at 90. Now what happens if I move that heading to 180? Where would you expect that to go? So we're going to set it up and there we go it's moving to the exact left. And it's going to keep going until it gets to the edge of Spaceland and it basically will bounce off and move um, in the opposite direction. Now heading is different than the turn degrees. So we have the left and the right and these are by degrees. Uh, and heading is considered an absolute value, so it's always going to face in that direction, and it is uh, basically like the cardinal directions, north, south, east, and west, or any other uh, combination in between. Whereas the left and the right degrees are relative positions, and they are often used in our um, procedures here uh, to allow for movement, and they will we can put in some numbers here. So what will happen here is um, once it's set up, it will start off with the degrees, but then it's going to change by 15 degrees for every step as it moves along. So I'm going to indicate this. I'm going to add a pen down so that we can take a look at this and see it a lot better. So what do we see happen? set it and forever. Notice that it creates a nice tight circle at 15 degrees. If we open up those degrees to something larger, uh, we can play around and see what happens to our turns. And we can um, make that a much smaller number and see what happens. So at every step it is moving just a single five degrees and that's five degrees based on what where it was um, prior. So each turn is five degrees more to the um, to the left. Now we typically do not want to put the set my heading in a forever because what this will do is it will set it to an absolute value and it'll override this left degrees. Let's take a look and see what that does. So even though it the code has it moving forward, turning by left five degrees, it automatically sets its heading back to 180, which is to the far left, or facing the degrees of far left. Um, and it overrides this sort of um, adjustment of degrees. So that's why the heading is considered to be a cardinal direction, and it is a, um, a fixed number as opposed to degrees, which changes with each step. So what I suggest is that you play around and have your students explore the difference between heading and degrees. And also, um, you can use the other degrees, which is right. And one of the things that we recommend is creating a um, simple project that uh, incorporates the wiggle walk in there. Um, that's a very typical thing that we talk about. It's something covered in Module 1, but we like to put in some random numbers there and see what happens uh, to get us to uh, understand a little bit about the movement and what those walks are doing.
So you can see it's a fairly straight line, but it does veer a little bit and does have a little dynamic quality to it. And that's based on the fact that we're putting in uh, random numbers between uh, 0 and 14 between, so it could turn as little as 0 degrees or as much as 14 degrees to the left and as little as 0 degrees and as much as 14 degrees to the right. You can also add a random number in here. Um, notice that the random block will fit. And this is often something that will happen uh, when we are creating turtles um, in a forever procedure or a collision and we give them a random heading so that they do not end up all in the same position going in the same direction.